Good morning. How the devil are you doing this fine day? Me? I've done a silly thing. I've done a very silly thing indeed. On Saturday, I went to Eastbourne with my wife and three of my four children. We went partly to celebrate uh, Father's Day and happy Father's Day to all those fathers out there. Uh, we walked along the front. We ate fish and chips by the sea and generally had a very pleasant time. However, we also walked about eight miles, the furthest I've walked in about two and a half years. So while I had a lovely time, my Achilles tendon on my right foot did not. And so rather than striding about Hillhead 2022 purposefully as if I own the joint, it looks like I'll be hobbling around it instead. However, I will not let that stand in the way of my first major meet and greet since March 2022. So without further ado, let me post the question of the day. Roll the intro and get this show on the road. Welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony. And it's Monday, the 20th of June, the day before he'll hit. And as that remarkably persistent guy just said, welcome to The Breakfast Show. I am your host, Mark Anthony. In today's show, the Tease Work Project continues to, to deliver the big bangs. Does Kelp Bray's massive financial provision provide an indication of the scale of fines about to be levied by the Competition and Markets Authority? Arachnophobes may want to look away now because there's a new spider excavator in town. Uh, with its arrival in the UK now imminent, XCMG has laid out its electrification plans. And we're looking back at the platy jubes with those fine folks at JCB. And... Finally, for the final time, we will be looking ahead to one of the products that might catch the eye of Hillhead 2022 visitors, but it might catch a bit of dust as well along the way. Uh, we'll get to all of that in just a second. But first, let's see who among the rich and the shameless will be celebrating a birthday on this day of days. Happy birthday! And it's many happy returns to old-time guitarist Chet Atkins and to actors Martin Landau and Danny Aiello. Happy birthday also to Lionel Richie, to actors uh, John Goodman, footballer Peter Reed, Duran Duran bass player John Taylor, and to actress Nicole Kidman. But far more importantly than all of those, a very happy birthday to a musical giant. The man behind Good Vibrations, California Girls, Fun Fun Fun, and Surfing USA the lead Beach Boy, Mr. Brian Wilson. Many happy returns to them, one and all. Now, regular viewers will know that we like, whenever possible, to start each new week with a bang. And those fine folks at Brown and Mason have come up trumps for us once again. Uh, late last week, they brought down the former centre plant at the Mammoth Teasworks facility up in the northeast of England. And thankfully, we have the footage. Another textbook blast from the fine folks at Brown and Mason. Axoft and Svantec are your high-end partners for noise, vibration, dust, and air quality systems, sensors, and software. To find out more, visit axoft.co.uk or call 01234 639 Just press the wrong button, might bear with me. Uh, but So, on Friday's show... If you can cast your mind back that long. Um, I made reference to the breaking news that Kelp Bray had set aside a, ma a massive £6 million for what it described as a civil regulatory matter. 
There's a couple of things to unpack from that disclosure, which is believed to re relate to potential fines following an investigation by the Competition and Markets Authority, or the CMA, as we should all know them by now. The first thing to unpack, I think, is the sum of £6 million. According to Kelpbray, the timing and outcome of this matter is uncertain. However, the range of potential liability is between £3.9 and £16 million. Having received advice, a best estimate provision of £6 million in relation to potential liability has con been considered by the directors to be appropriate. Okay. Now, the other standout from this latest statement is the wording. Kelbray said it is addressing a civil regulatory matter relating to a historical issues which rose uh, which arose rather under a previous management team. Now you may recall that Carey Group announced some four months ago that it too had set aside a, a massive amount of money, nine million pounds in their case, for what it described as a regulatory matter relating to historical breaches due to the behaviour of a former management team. Anyone else seeing a pattern here? Now, if you would like to know more about um, the CMA investigation, which is still ongoing as it stands at the moment, um, the investigation is into alleged collusion within the UK demolition industry, then boy, oh boy, did you come to the right place because we have literally just published our latest book in which we follow the CMA investigation from its origins right back in March 2019, right up until the period of limbo in which we all find ourselves today. If you'd like to buy a copy of that book, you could do so using the link in the chat. Alternatively, and probably easier, uh, just hop over to demolitionnews.com and you'll see it advertised there. Um, if you are one of our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash demolition news, you don't need to buy it because you've already got a free copy. It's sat there in your inbox. Hope you enjoy it. Outside the highlands of Scotland, I can think of very few places in the UK that would ever need a spider excavator. And yet I find them endlessly fascinating. I can watch them for hours at equipment exhibitions. They really are transformers brought to life. Well, there's a new one in town, and this is the Kaiser Allroader. I know it's called the all-roader, but as they say in Back to the Future, where we're going, we don't need roads. OK, 
Okay, so I've managed to squeeze in pop culture references to Transformers and Back to the Future so far, so let me continue in that vein. You've heard the expression, the revolution will be televised. You have? Good. Uh, Well, in that case, uh, sorry, in the case of the electric revolution, that is very much the case. At least it is with XCNG. Carrying the mission and honor, empowered by green technology and intelligence, shouldering responsibility of creating value for clients, XCMG has always been dedicated to creating a beautiful future for the world. In the era of gasoline, we relied on technological upgrade to lower energy consumption and reduce emission. In the era of natural gas, we became the first to develop LNG loaders. In the era of electric engine, we use technology to create limitless possibilities. XEMG pure electric loading machines replace gasoline with electricity. The world's first triple electric motor joint driver leads the industry. Exclusive drag electrical technology thoroughly negates battery usage cost. Long-distance remote control and self-driving technology pushes the boundaries of engineering. No pollution, zero emission. XEMG pure electric loading machines overcome limitations of environment protection and explore the way of harmonious coexistence between human and nature. Low energy consumption, high efficiency. XEMG pure electric loading machines inject new power into green economic development, generating more social value. Implement product philosophy characterized by making artwork with leading technology and everlasting quality. XEMG seeks innovation and changes, and we pursue the utmost performance in our products. XEMG aims to surpass oneself as we continue to spearhead industry development. On the path of lucid waters and lush mountains towards mountains of gold and silver, XEMG always stays by your side. XEMG for your success. I love how they manage to speak perfect English. And yet speaking in a way that sounds like they've never heard it before in their lives. Uh, Don't forget, uh, we are expected to hear more about XCMG actually setting up shop here in the UK next month, I believe it is. Uh, So watch this space. Just a few weeks ago, us Brits raided our lofts and our local 99p shops and gathered together Union Jack flags and bunting to mark the Platinum Jubilee. Eagle-eyed viewers that watched the parade down the mall may have spotted the uh, the presence of a few machines from JCB's proud history. But if you miss them, don't worry, because we've got you covered.
there is, I think you'll agree, no nation on earth that does pomp and pageantry quite like the UK. And there is no company that wears its nationality with quite the same pride as JCB. The Miller GT series heralds a new era of unrivaled power and cutting edge intelligent coupler technology, increasing job site safety, machine versatility and productivity. It's the added versatility that you need at the value you can afford. To find out more, visit millergroundbreaking.com. Even though I am carrying an injury that would likely cripple a lesser man, I, as soon as the show is over, I'll be packing up the car and pointing it towards Buxton in Derbyshire, ahead of my pilgrimage to Hillhead 2022. The doors of the show open about this time tomorrow, and I intend to be among the first to pass through the registration area. Uh, area. Excuse me. So this, sadly, will be the final outing of our Hillhead highlight section. Before I reveal what manufacturer and what product we're looking at, here's a very quick word from our sponsor. Now, I think we all know that Hill, the Hillhead show has its own microclimate in which sun, rain, wind, sleet, snow and plagues of frogs can co all coexist, often in the same afternoon. But if the current sunny weather does prevail, and if I start to overheat, I know exactly where I'm going. So, for the time, final time, here is our Hillhead highlight.
Now, speaking of Hillhead, as we just were, uh, my weekly column today is called Why Hillhead 2022 Matters. You can read it, read it over on LinkedIn, or easier still, you can read it on demolitionnews.com. It's currently today's lead story. I've also posted a link to it in the chat to make your life even easier. Sorry to interrupt the guy with the funny glasses, but if you're enjoying this video, please hit the like button as it helps our channel. Or, better still, share this video with a friend or a colleague. Thank you. Right, back to Beardy. Right, that pretty much wraps up the show, or the main part of the show at least, uh, for today. And it wraps up this show until Friday as well. Oh no, I hear you cry. Say it isn't so. Well, look, I've done the maths and it doesn't work. I was planning to broadcast from our accommodation in Buxton for the duration of the show, but by the time I have wrapped up the show and pushed it out through our, all our various social media channels, I wouldn't be getting to, th to the show until about noon each day. And there's no way I can get around the whole of Hillhead in three half days. So after today, the show will be going to a, into a three-day hiatus so we can capture as much of Hillhead as is humanly possible. We'll then bring you some of that on Friday and over the next few weeks as well. And we're also planning to host a Hillhead 2022 uh, retrospective show as well. So we need to, as much footage as we can possibly gather. Uh, sorry to disappoint, but it seems crazy for the broadcasting of the show to stand in the way of gathering gathering the content upon which the show is actually based. So I'm going to roll the outro in just a second before leaping gazelle-like over into the chat. See what you're all saying today. If you can't stick around, then please stay safe. Look after yourself, your family, your friends, and your colleagues. Have a great day. Have a great week. And thanks for watching. If you are going to Hillhead, look out for this hat. Come and say hello. Uh, but if you do have the time and the inclination, I'll see you on the other side of this. Hey.